My iPhone has my vision board on it. I ain't got no picture of no dog or my wife on my phone. My wife is at my house. Because I put stuff that I dream about on my iPhone. So every time my phone rings, I look at it. I think of my visions and dreams. Every time I pick up that phone, I should pick up that phone to make one of them dreams come true. So every time I'm texting or email, I'm trying to make a dream come true. I don't have time for nonsense. What they say about me in the blogs, it don't matter what they say. They don't know me. God keeps blessing me. It don't matter what you say. You got to know who you are and whose you are. I know who I am and I know who I belong to. And that God of mine ain't going to let nothing happen to me. We all have people that come against us, make negative comments. Human nature is to get in there and try to straighten them out, prove to them how they're wrong. But the problem with this approach is as soon as you get one person straightened out, three more will pop up. If you're constantly trying to defend yourself, you'll get distracted fighting battles that you were never supposed to fight. Do you know how much energy it takes to try to pay somebody back? You are spending emotional energy that you need for your dreams. You don't have to defend yourself. God said he will defend you. Quit worrying about the chatter, the negative comments. Those are all distractions. Well, Joel, I'm upset because I'm a good person. Doesn't matter how good you are, kind, upstanding, somebody's not going to like you. It happened with Jesus. He did nothing but good, but he was falsely accused. He was misunderstood. How did he protect his reputation? It says in 1 Peter, even though he had never sinned, he did not retaliate when he was insulted. He left his case in the hands of God. How much more peace you would have if you would start leaving your cases in the hands of God. I can assure you, God can vindicate you better than you can vindicate yourself. You don't have to try to pay people back, convince them to change their mind. Some people are never going to be for you. They're intent on misunderstanding you. They don't want to see your point of view. Now don't go the next five years engaged in a battle that you're not supposed to be engaged in. Quit worrying about what they think. Quit getting all riled up thinking about how you can retaliate. I'm not going to spend my life worried about what somebody's saying, upset because they don't like me. God, I know you're my defender. That's when the creator of the universe will go to work. When they try to make you look bad, he'll turn it around and cause you to look good. He'll cause you to shine. Quit spending all your time trying to defend yourself. You have a defender. He knows how to bring justice. He knows how to vindicate you. If you're consumed with what other people think, I've got to convince them to believe in me, then you'll get distracted and miss your destiny. God said he will fight your battles. He'll take care of that friend that's trying to make you look bad. God knows how to settle your case. People can dislike you without a cause. It'd be one thing if they knew you and didn't like you, but they judge you from a distance. They don't like you because you're happy, because you're a different nationality. They'll attack you behind your back and try to belittle, discredit you. Are you going to get offended and try to straighten them out? and get involved in a battle that you're not supposed to fight. They don't control your destiny. One of the best things we can learn to do is ignore it. That's how you leave it in the hands of God. And the more successful you are, the higher you go, more people will come against you. Everybody loved you until you got that promotion, until you married that beautiful girl. Now the critics have come out of the woodwork what the best strategy is to get even. Can I tell you what it is? Be still. God said in Jeremiah, I will defend you. I will take on your case. Can you imagine having the creator of the universe defending you? You don't have to try to prove to people who you are. You can stay in peace knowing that it's not your battle. It's your case 
but the battle is the Lord's. Can I tell you, he's never lost a case. Why don't you sit back and let your defender do his job? God takes it seriously when somebody tries to discredit you. You don't have to get upset. God sees what's happening. And sometimes he'll cause them to be quiet. Other times he'll let them keep talking and just keep promoting you. They think they're hurting you. The truth is they're helping you. God is paying you back by taking you to new levels. That's your defender at work. I talked to a gentleman a while back and he was very upset because his boss was against him. I told this man what I'm telling you, that God is your defender. Don't live frustrated trying to... your boss out. Just keep being your best. You're not working under people. You're working under God. This man went back to the office with a new attitude. Well, one day, the CEO of the whole company was in town. The CEO was very impressed with his work. About a year later, a position came available that should have gone to his boss, but this CEO offered the position to this man. Now, instead of having to work for this boss, it's hard to get along with. The tables have turned. The boss is working for him. It says in Psalms, touch not my anointed. You are his anointed. God has heard every negative word spoken against you. Like with this man, vindication is on the way. New levels are coming. God is going to make things happen that you could never make happen. Quit living frustrated trying to win somebody over that's never going to be for you. Everybody's not supposed to be for you. You don't have to try to pay them back, get even. Just run your race with purpose, with joy, and let the negative bounce off of you. I don't mean to be negative, but somebody's always going to be talking about you. Somebody's always going to be jealous. That's not your battle. How much freer could you live if you would start leaving those cases in the hands of God? And as long as you're honoring God, no person can stop you, no group. Promotion doesn't come from people, it comes from the Lord. And some people, no matter what you do, are not going to be for you. Not everyone is going to like you or understand you. If you want everybody to like you, you'll get stuck. How much time are you spending? about what they're saying. Trying to pay that friend back for making you look bad. 
you don't have time for all that pettiness. Let it go in one ear and out the other and use that energy to move toward your God-given dreams. So one of my favorite quotes by Ralph Waldo Emerson is that the most difficult thing for a man to do is to be himself in a world that's constantly trying to change him. So what do you do? Easier said than done, but what I have to do is you've got to ignore everyone. If you want to be true to yourself without being sullied by the opinions, either good or bad, negative or positive, because they're both forms of slavery, you've got to close your door, you've got to shut off your phone, you've got to shut off your computer, you've got to sit down, you've got to be with yourself and God and let it speak through you purely, become a hollow reed, unobstructed by the opinions, positive and negative, of other people. What people think about you and the possibilities for your dream is none of your business. They have no imagination, ladies and gentlemen. Let me share something with you. History is being read, but it's also being written by people with imagination. You've got to find ways to increase your sense of self-appreciation because if you don't program yourself, life will program you. Are you surrounding yourself with people that can nourish you? Is your life an adventure or is it boring? You don't want to ever put yourself into a situation where you have a limited vision and you're only using a limited amount of your talents and of your abilities. 